France's ambassador to Australia has accused Canberra of deceit as the fallout from a scrapped submarine deal continues. Jean-Pierre Thibault was recalled from Australia after the decision caused a major bilateral rift. He's spoken publicly on the relationship for the first time since returning last month. The deceit was intentional. And because there was far more at stake than providing submarines, because it was a common agreement on sovereignty, sealed with the transmission of highly classified data, the way it was handled was plainly a stab in the back. Mr. Thibault says this is a new low for the relationship. This week, Australian media published messages between Scott Morrison and Emmanuel Macron, suggesting that the French leader knew the contract was at risk. You don't behave like this on personal exchanges of leaders who are allies. But maybe it's just a confirmation that we were never seen as an ally. But doing so also sends a very worrying signal for all heads of states. Beware, <laughs> in Australia there will be leaks. And what you say in confidence to your partners will be eventually used and weaponized against you one day. Australia cancelled the deal with France in September. It opted instead to build at least 12 nuclear-powered submarines in a deal with the United States and Britain. The new alliance, dubbed AUKUS, is designed to give Australia access to nuclear-powered submarines for the first time.